morning guys uh, we're on our way to Bathurst with Lulu rocking down under she's um she's had a great week uh, couldn't be any happier with her <clears throat> work on Saturday morning was beautiful um, race 1 127 Australian time she's drawn barrier 7 um, I, I think this could cap off a great weekend for stable.ca with um, with Darren McCall and the team winning the pink bonnet on Saturday night. That was a great thrill for the stable.ca. It was a crying shame Lulu couldn't have been in it. Um, I'm not gonna say anything, but uh, her only run was nearly two seconds faster than that race. But anyway, that's, um, that's me to get over now and stop being, stop dwelling on the past. But anyway, um, can't do too much about it now. She was second emergency. And, Never got a run, but we can only worry about the future, and uh, I think she'll run a good race today. We'll just let her find a feet early. Um, just let her tell me what she decides to do. There's a couple of unknowns underneath her. Um, but I just want to congratulate Anthony and all the team of Stable.ca. I, I, I think what they're doing here is getting a lot of speed up. It's got a lot of people talking. Um, and looking forward to the sales again next Sunday. Um, yeah, it was just great to, great to see the whole team and everyone's put a lot of hard work in uh, to get a filly to go to the races um, like Girl From Oz and, and get that win in that pink bonnet is, is a great thrill and um, it's thoroughly deserved by Darren and Karina and um, the whole stable.ca team and uh, it looks very good for, for business so um, I know I've had a lot of people talk to me about it since so uh, that was that was awesome to see, and let's hope we can cap off our weekend with a uh, good win today at Bathurst for rocking down under, and we'll we'll press forward to um, bigger things to come. Have a great day, and uh, look forward to to hearing back from you. Thanks, Spike.